on top agriculture matter for Edo State, mm, don't they go on say Edo State governments never do anything for agricultural sector. And now this one make TMC TV carry Waka enter the matter well. Go reach the beginning of waiting down the shell for agricultural sector since God do not basically take over as governor of Edo State. I think control a better light give TMC TV news crew on top the things we don't the shell a sense. Other Bunge people on top Edo agriculture, Prince Joe Okoji, will be special advisor to Governor Godzin Obaseki on top agriculture and food security program for Edo, and Samil Asha will be the consultant still following news crew talk. Governor Obaseki talks say before now, Edo farmers be they do small small farm as the bee say them they fear to encounter risk. But now they don't they do waiting or you they call mechanized farming. And then they produce plenty, plenty food products because say Edo state governments they provide buyers for them. So how have we approached agriculture? Fortunately, uh, we had started our agricultural reforms several years ago. Um, led by the special advisor on agriculture. We had introduced what we call the Agripreneur Scheme. Under the Agripreneur Scheme, government makes large tracts of land available for commercial farming and then encourages people to come and take portions of that land and cultivate. We do three things. First, we prepare the land, so we take the drudgery out of agriculture. Two, we support the farmers with inputs, seeds, fertilizer, and extension services, technical support, and also funding through the CBN arrangement. And then lastly, we guarantee them offtake, that whatever they cultivate will be purchased at a price that will enable them to make a profit and go back and farm for the next season. Governor Godwin Obaseki still talks say with the Ogbunge work where him administration don't do on top Edo agricultural sector, especially on top oil palm, Edo go become Ogbunge state. Instead, he say oil palm don't get better value past crude oil and it go help reduce unemployment for the state. We have an advantage in Edo and that is one of the big programs we are working on, which is oil palm. If you look at a, 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 pro, a product like oil palm, Every part of the oil palm tree has its use. Nothing is wasted. But today, palm oil is more valuable than crude oil. When you produce crude oil, only a few people go to the rigs to drill and extract crude oil. I'm sure many of you may not know that we are producing crude oil in Edo State, around Ulubu or Ben. But how many people are employed? But with agriculture, with oil palm, for instance, with the program we have in place, which we have now started, each hectare of oil palm employs a minimum of four people. So you can imagine if you have 100,000 hectares under cultivation, how many people will be employed in that industry? We are trying to now reintroduce that culture. Where people realize, have to realize that there is money to be made in agriculture. So the future is agriculture because it will not only feed us, it will also serve as the basis for get, obtaining raw materials for our industrialization. Prince Joe Okoje, Westy Follow with News Crew Talk, can explain Edo agricultural sector matter give us. Make we for understand the work of Edo state government on top of the sector. You know, say, this government, when we get, the government when it's a be, in con reason, say, the best way when it will fit create employment and create wealth natural agriculture. On top of that, now we can come up with what they call agripreneur program and what they also call independent farmers initiative. Under the agripreneur program, we they look for land when it big well well from minimum of 100 hectares up to a thousand hectares. Contiguous space, when we aggregate farmers, we can't give them five, five hectares. 
each to farm. So what thing we do we say we will first of all clear the land. When we clear the land finish, we will come bring with them a call mechanization. Then we'll come give them what you what they call improved seedlings. We'll come give them fertilizers, we'll come give them agrochemicals. And above all, we'll come bring somebody when they go buy from them, waiting them produce. So and we will also give them money to carry out all these plenty plenty things when they require to make uh, agriculture happen from beginning to the end. He still lists agricultural programs, the communities and waiting them they produce. Make Unasabi say all this one they happen for the three senatorial districts where they for Edo State. For Edo State, um, we they do what you would call aquaculture. We get people when they farm fish, we they do poultry. Poultry when they farm broilers, we they do rice, we they do corn, we they do uh, soya beans, and we they do cassava. And so we they take them across the three senatorial districts. For Edo South, we they farm rice. For Igoraki and Igwomo, we they farm maize for Bayato. We they farm fish for ADP. We they farm fish for Iyekoyi. We they farm fish for Temboga. And we they farm fish for Ute. And for Edo Central, we they do cassava for Udo. We they do cassava for Ubiaja. We get one program for Oria. When we get 500 women, when we put for 1,000 space, when we give them two, two hectares to each farmer for Oria. Then we they do rice for Elushi. We get Elushi one and Elushi two. And we get uh, Usubenu. We they do corn for Subenu, and we they do soya beans for Ekpoma, and we they do um, fish for Uzea. For a do not, mainly what we they do there, na rice for Agbede, a cassava for Emeora, rice for Homura. Uh, we they do uh, rice for Aganebude and we they do rice for Warake. Okay, so to top all of this, for Edo South, we also they do poultry where Mr. Governor empowered about 136 farmers. Most of them get 1,000. One, uh, beds to grow and um, we gave out a total of 125,000 beds, broilers, for them to produce. Prince Joe Okoje still clear matter on top of the room um, where they fly say a dual state government know they try on top agricultural sector. As in talk say as then talk am na so it be. An institute must put on top a dual state oil pump program, ESOP. Nobody say we just the talk. As we talk them, we na go take picture, make people they see them. As we talk and say na so it be, not be say we just they talk and from out because we hear say plenty of people they talk out there. Say we they, we just they talk, say we not they do anything. So as we talk them, we go they show them. Everybody go they see them. Say na true true na we they talk, and they go talk to the people when they benefit for the program. See, say, Mr. Governor, not be lie, they lie. When it comes to agriculture, say, it they actually touch people's lives and make sure, say, the people of a do state, they benefit. And sure, say, you don't hear about a do state oil palm program, ESOP. When we they put 
250,000 hectares of farm in place. We are starting with 51.8 thousand hectares. That one and the one when you make the Ogakpatapata for CBN, come at those state, come launch. When you look at our program finish, it can commit 69.8 billion to the would-be investors. Tell them, say, if they feel come up with their own 25 percent, and go give them 75 percent, so that this project will go feed one, and everybody will see, say, this project supposed to create employment and make a do people begin happy, say, they get where then they work. The special advisor still tell with new screw how those state governments don't fit to take manage food security during this COVID-19 period. As CB say, people where they eat food, plenty past the ones who they go farm, go do farm work. So we've been getting some things for which you go, they call food bank. But Mr. Governor, can't start another program when they call IFI. Under that IFI, Independent Farmers Initiative, we they go meet independent farmers when they not they under our agripreneur programs. We go tell and say, okay, so you they farm one acre or two acre. What if we make you begin farm six acre? We go give you everything when you need to farm this land. We go increase them for you. Take your coordinates. Make sure say you get C of O to take. Uh, borrow if you need to borrow with this your farm but to start with government will give you everything when you need and when you do and finish we government will go buy them from you put them for our food bank so that program they go on like I Prince Joe Okoje Steen Yan how those state governments say they fit reduce headsmen wahala for the state you know say that problem that big problem for Nigeria but uh, somehow, we they try to see how to get around them by engaging um, all their uh, imams, engaging the uh, serikis that are local, and to continuously speak to the conscience of uh, all these headsmen. So, so far, governor, the whole meeting with them, they tried to alert them on the dangers of them going into people's farm to go chop people food. So we are working with it, and uh, our hope is say very soon it go better. Samil Asha will be consultant to adult state on top agriculture matter. Come follow with Tory people talk. As the young and then they train adult farmers to begin practice waiting that they call mechanized farming, will be a bunge type of farming. My company is uh, Sky Greek Investment Limited. We'll be consultants to the state, as you have said. Our job and um, function is to help the people of Edo State, the farmers of Edo State, to begin to see a different type of agriculture. Not be the one where they Sabi before, where their forefathers, they go village with hoe and cutlass. Those times, don't, well, they're still there, but they, they are supposed, we suppose don't carry them past that level. And when we, where, where we won't carry them go, we they expect, say, their yield will they improve because of the techniques when we could teach them, or when we don't, they show them all this time. Uh, the equipments when we don't, they use. But, um, before this period, uh, when we take we, we do what we would call uh, investigations in, into uh, the way where agriculture they happen for Edo State. And some of the things when we find and say, okay, people don't even know the new equipment to use. They know access to those equipment, not even they, even when they get the money to pay, they have to wait for a long time for people up north to finish with the machine first before they, the thing will even reach their hand. And uh, part of the thing when we do under the agripreneur, now to go into what we could call uh, PPP, Private Partner Partnership, where we, we create what we, we, we call a mechanization hub for Edo State. For that hub, uh, the state help in, uh, in partnering with uh, Skagrick Investment Limited. They put equipment, tractors, 
planter, uh, harvester, and so many other types of equipment to help the, the Edo State farmers to produce uh, their crops and get more effective yield. Uh, but a part of achieving that kind of goal now to uh, bring in that investment into this kind of uh, latest equipment. So that one now we don't already do, we don't get mechanization hub for Edo State. And uh, with this now, we are able to push our agricultural activities for crop production. You know, say we they do uh, maize, rice, and um, soybean now. And we expect, say, other kind of crops could be in, come out after this ones. But the most important thing to say, in a cooperation between us, the state, and the Edo state farmers. The farmers them, themselves, they don't show, say, they don't get serious interest now. Maybe before now, their interest don't drop. But with these new activities that is happening in the state, we are seeing that um, uh, a lot more people, or even retired farmers, are coming back to say, "Okay, we say if we want to join for this kind uh, new activity." And um, uh, now that we are using all these new equipment and techniques, they are finding it easier to achieve those things, to do those farms, to increase their size. Before now, maybe one hectare, uh, one farmer could get maybe half a hectare. And if you ask him, when I didn't get more land, he will say, he gets. So why you know the farmer? I say, because he will get the power. That's physical power, when did they use before? But now with this equipment, one farmer will get five hectares. You know, and that will increase his production. And he no need to use uh, old method of uh, power to do it when there's equipment. When I don't hear all the Ogbon get things where those state governments don't do on top agriculture matter so far for those states. We bring this Ogbon get information come given out to clear the air on top of those people where they do on um, they go. Say those state governments never do anything at all for agriculture for the state. Make on a sabi say na TMC TV na carry this Ogbon get updates they come given out. And my name Na edogo ko ito